Hello and welcome back to Fasco. So this is a Fasco parlor fan. I have not actually checked the date on it, but I don't think it's from the late 70s because they don't have plastic blades. So it's from very early 80s. Um, if I find out later, I'll put it in the video. But this came from Colin at the PA meet. I kind of snipe bought this. <laughs> it was, it like was listed for maybe two minutes and I ended up getting it for 60 bucks, which is really cool. Uses the very low system. Mm -hmm. On this fan though, it has an extremely shallow range of speeds. So we're just gonna be using got the variable it. speed control from the wall instead. We just got the solid state hooked up to it. Mm -hmm. And the finish is a little rough on this in some spots. The brown paint is coming off or it's scratched. Like where's the... Pretty significant like scratch here. right here. And there, yeah. It's really not too noticeable when it's hung, but if you're looking up close, it's like right there too, you can notice it. And it's also got a hole in the side of the canopy for a swag cord if you oh, yeah. wish to install one. Up there. Some of the brass too is kind of going, but Fasco stuff almost never shows up around here. Start it off. This is the lowest speed on the solid state control, which is actually uh, pretty much almost the same as the lowest speed on the very low system, too. It's maybe a little bit faster, but when we tested the very low on this, it pretty much goes from this speed and then you turn it barely and then it goes to almost high. So it's probably the potentiometer that's going bad, but replacing those types of electronics is always a nightmare. So. Solid state it is for now. Especially since fast fuel motors don't hum that much on variable speed, at least compared to like Emerson motors. Or other just any spinner motors, but I'm thinking in terms of stack motor fans. I don't think the down road on this is original either, but it kind of matches just because uh, it's like brown and polished brass and the other only other part that's polished brass are like the blade arms and then this finial thing on the bottom i guess the knob i absolutely love this fan this is definitely one of my favorites yeah this is the first one i've ever owned i'm gonna turn the speed up a tiny bit Fasco's in North Carolina, so a lot of their stuff shows up there, but, and Pennsylvania too. I don't know what it is with Pennsylvania and Fasco's. I guess they had specific dealers up there, but you very seldom see them in like New York, New Jersey, Vermont, Maine, New Hampshire, like any of those up there. I wouldn't say that these are rare to begin with though, just like maybe a bit uncommon. This is actually the first one I've ever seen in person. Yeah, same, I think. There's actually a house in Connecticut that had two of these. Like they they were this exact same one, except they had the fake wood grain blades and they somehow survived a remodel, probably because they were so high up on the ceiling. But other than that, I can't recall the time that I've seen these before. A little bit faster. One of the blades does look like it's a bit out of alignment, but it doesn't really wobble whatsoever, so it's fine. I think it'd be really cool to install this somewhere, but I, I can't think of any spots. Most of them are filled already. This is full power. So this fan doesn't go super fast, but the pitch is definitely making up for it. I'd say that it's at least 13 degrees, but probably 14. 
correct me if I'm wrong, I suppose. It does move a lot of air. Yeah. And the berries are still silent, so that's great. The bushing's not making any noise. would have a J-hook mount if it's old enough, but it's not really that much heavier than any other stack motor fan, so it's good enough just being here. Here's spin down. Yep. Normally the second pull is the very low, but we're going to bypass it for this video. say about these just because I've never encountered them really in the wild but I think it's an awesome fan. If someone in the comments knows what the failure rate on the very low system is I do really want to know that so if someone knows that drop a comment because I'm very curious about that. Yeah from what I've heard it's better than Casablanca's slumber quiet but it still fails. Pretty quick spin down. Yeah, not too bad. I think that is all for this Fasco parlor fan. Thanks for watching Silly Fan Spin and sometimes Spin Reverse. Okay, bye.